and gentlemen, welcome to MK11. Welcome to Figure 4 Radio. Welcome to the Royal Rumble. Figure 4 Radio. 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 Welcome to Figure 4 Radio. My name is the mastermind Ollie Spring. Tonight we're joined by the killer Carl Brand. Good, hello. And a slightly drunk Hulk mode, it's MC Crypton himself, Toby Hagen. What up, everyone? I am pumped, guys. How are you feeling? I'm awesome. How are you? I, I cannot wait. I, I, just, I am buzzing in anticipation right now for the Royal Rumble match. Kai, Kai how are we doing? We're doing good. I'm actually absolutely going to look forward to the Royal Rumble. So, the Royal Rumble is my number one uh, pay-per-view of the year. So we are, we are recording live at the Kiln Farm Club, MK11. We're kicking off with a last man standing match for the IC belt. I have a feeling this is going to be the match of the night. Um, I, I, I went Kevin Owens. Uh, I went uh, Dean Ambrose. I absolutely love Dean Ambrose. Love everything what he's going to do. Uh, I love Kevin Owens, though, but I think Kevin Owens is um, set for bigger and better things. I went Dane, uh, Dean Ambrose as well, my friend. So I'm the, I'm the single mark for Kevin Owens in this match. MK11 right now is pumped. We're going to get into this match. We're going to catch up with you guys as soon as the match is over. Figure 4 Radio. Radio, 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 Radio. Oh, my days. Okay, I'm not pleased with the finish, but what a match that was, guys. Kevin Owens, Dean Ambrose, last man standing match. I mean, this guy is a future heavyweight champion in Kevin Owens, and so is Dean Ambrose. It was one hell of a match. Uh, 10 out of 10, it was phenomenal. My guy, I, my guy Owens let me down. But what a match. Toby, what do you reckon today? Your first ever last man standing match. I loved it, every second of it. And I wasn't a fan of Kevin Owens going into this, but he has won my respect. He may have lost the match, but he's walking away from the ring with that. I literally, just those table bumps, that key crusher off the top rope through the table my god and that the the barrier. Stand, that, that cannonball through the announce through the timekeeper's area oh, oh we just seen a replay of kevin Owens going through a double decker table what a match to kick off the royal rumble i tell you what i was flagging before i came into this right now i'm losing my voice and i am pumped up and that's just the first match this is where you start a royal rumble where they're going from here on out we do not know but it is off to a great start the intensity from both men in that match was just absolutely absolutely untouchable Dean Ambrose, I fucking love you, man. Figure four radio. Radio, 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 radio. Kalisto just won the fucking title! Oh my, I told you that had that had um, potential. A lot of watches. Toby, you're fucking ecstatic right now. That was your loo break match. That was amazing. That is one of the best matches. Highlight of the night so far, even though the opening match had set a benchmark. You didn't know who Kalisto was three days ago. And now I'm a super fan for him. <laughs> Kai, how about those botches? Lucha. What about those botches, Lucha. What about those botches Lucha. Oh, my God. Uh, when it comes to botches, we, we've, uh, we've commentated on uh, bot matches. Uh, we know them as good as they get. I mean... Uh, the, the way that uh, Kalisto won basically came off of a butt before he hit his uh, finisher. Uh, I love the Mexican style, though, and I'm glad he's, he's got it. I think it's a uh, it's great representative of the uh, Lucha Libre. It would have been a very interesting match to see uh, well, what would have happened if if that Sunset Flint powerbomb hadn't have been botched. Maybe that ending was a little bit shaky. I mean, I guess that's why they call it high risk. But, I mean, once again, I was wrong. That's three in a row. I'm obviously losing my touch right now. I'm, ah. I'm, I'm absolutely astonished that I right now I am two for one. You're beating me? Kai, yeah, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in the lead right now. This is amazing. We came third in the, in, the, in the quiz here at the Rumble. Toby's beating me in predictions. What the fuck is going on? It's, it's, it's the Royal Rumble. Anything can happen. Anything can happen here at the, at the Royal Rumble at MK11. It means we've got one more match to go, guys, before the Rumble. Yeah. Um, Becky Lynch versus Charlotte. I'm going Becky Lynch. This has got to happen. I'm going with Charlotte. I think she's uh, she's a phenomenal champion in herself, and I, I absolutely love uh, what she's doing at the minute, of course, with Ric Flair, the legend himself. Well, Kai, you're on your own because I'm all the way Becky Lynch, baby. Woo! 
I, I'm definitely begging interest. I think it's time. It's time for a change. Um, I think the women's division needs a shot in the arm. I think Becky Lynch is the, it's a strong female babyface that the WWE have been needing for so long now. No, no, no. I agree, but I don't think the time is yet. I think WrestleMania is the time. Um, it's, it's Charlotte all the way tonight, I'm afraid. Sorry, you lost on that one again. Mastermind. I absolutely agree. I, I think that we're going to see part one of a saga, and I think it's going to culminate in WrestleMania this year. I'm looking anyway, forward to it. I'm buzzing for this show right now. So far, every match has been entertaining at least. Yeah! At least. Figure four radio. radio, radio, radio. Unbelievable. Well, they yeah. Shit. I haven't got a single prediction right all fucking night. You fucking suck. I suck. I'm you now, do suck. I'm now two for two. I'm also two for two. I'm very, very disappointed. Becky totally dominated that match. I'm not happy with that. No, I, st I, I, I still think Charlotte's a great Divas champion. I think she's got a, a bit of time left in her. And I just mentioned before um, the match to Ollie that what if Bailey comes in? Yeah, but it didn't happen. So sorry. They didn't. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, they're still going off, and Charlotte at the moment is uh, pounding the head. I, I, I mean, it was an all right match. It was okay by Divas standards. I like the fact they're giving Becky a chance. Yeah, I was. As I say, it just to be honest, I'm just waiting for the Rumble match now. That's all I care about. I mean, the Rumble is uh, it's like the Grand National of the, rest of the professional wrestling. What is, what is she doing right now? I mean, she's won the match. She can leave the ring. Just you know, Becky is like in, is is down. I'm not happy right now. So look, right, last minute thought, guys, before the Rumble. Um, who, who do we think is going to win it? Who, who's your final pick right now? Kevin Owens. Bray Wyatt with the Wyatt family clearing the ring and then leaving, leaving him. To oh, win. hello. Wait, hang on, wait Whoa. a second, ladies and gentlemen. Just we're getting into our, uh, our predictions. We see. Who is this? Sasha <laughs> <laughs> Banks has made her entrance. She's hot. She is. We were, we were just about to get into our Royal Rumble predictions before Sasha Banks makes her entrance. Sorry to interrupt our podcast. She's interrupted us. She looks like the female member of the, the New Day. The New Day are big fans of oh, hers. She's taken her jewellery off and in women speak. She... Now, this is, this, is, this, is, this is a good thing, right? This is where the New Day suffer, though. They don't have any challengers, so this is clearly setting up Charlotte's next challenger, I presume, at least. But will she be the New Bay? Oh! Fair enough. Anyway. Oh! oh! <laughs> What's going on? Stop the damn match! Uh, apologies, ladies and gentlemen, for uh, those listening to the podcast right now. Our flow has been completely interrupted by Sasha Banks. Um, I'm not going to complain. No one's complaining. I'm a, I'm a massive fan of Sasha. Her matches with Bailey and NXT are nothing short of legendary. And as I say, Sasha Banks clearly making her intentions clear, letting the world know she wants a shot at that title. Should we take this in and go back to the uh, go back to the rumble in a minute? Well, we can see what we can see what transpires. To be honest, let's 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 try and focus on the rumble right now. Well, I'm pretty sure I'm about to see a nipple from Charlotte. I don't That's care about the nipple. Thing. I came here tonight to see the Royal Rumble, and I came here to see the Bray Wyatt's win. The Bray Wyatt's. The Bray Wyatt's, aka the Wyatt family. The Wyatt family. That's that's what you're needing. Um, I think I'm, Kevin Owens. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm not so sure because everything I predicted so far has been wrong. Um, I would I would love to see the Wyatt's win. I would I would love to see anybody other than the obvious people. Yes. Oh, here we go. Oh. Once again, Sasha Banks interrupting oh, our flow. MK11 interrupting with the bank statement being locked in. She's locking it in. Just like we do Charlotte at Singapore is, Radio. Charlotte is lights out right now. Holy shit. Who's your um, surprise entrance? Um, I, I, 
I'll tell you what, let's just wait and see, you know. I've, cl I've clearly fucked up everything prediction-wise so far. I'm, I'm thinking maybe AJ Styles is the obvious choice. I I I let's, let's just wait and see, find out. I'm going to go with Kane. We're going to, uh, we're going to keep the, uh, the podcast go... rolling through the entire Royal Rumble. We're going to bring you the highlights uh, for a little while. Any pops that we have, any entrance that we go crazy for, you're going to be here with us at MK11 experiencing the atmosphere because right now tonight it is electric for the royal rumble stay tuned for more figure four radio
Which is your new Stephanie Champion? Which champion? Roman Reigns, Triple H, WrestleMania. Oh my goodness! I, I'm, I, that was a good rumble. That was a good rumble. I enjoyed that. I literally don't know. I don't know if I can even speak right now. AJ Styles. That has been one of the best rumbles I've ever seen. Kevin Owens, he the made last, it. The last 10 minutes of that is undeniably one of the best rumbles we've ever seen. Jesus Christ, ladies and gentlemen, Triple H is going to WrestleMania as the new World Heavyweight Champion. I cannot believe what I've just seen. I cannot believe it. Oh, Roman Reigns, I just feel sorry for the lad. Kai, what do you think of that? Absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely love Triple H coming in. I called it Triple H coming in. And I didn't see him winning it. I thought Dean Ambrose would have had it at the end. They would have had a Roman Reigns Dean Ambrose feud going on. That would have been awesome. I have literally no words. I don't think I can even speak right now. You know, <laughs> what a night. MK11 once again knocking it out of the park. The atmosphere here. It's been absolutely unbelievable. Toby, how was your night? That was fucking amazing. This is the best rumble I've ever seen. So, Kai, how was your night? Fucking awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been the Royal Rumble live podcast from MK11. <laughs> I'm barely the mastermind on his spring. I've been joined by Killer Kai Brand. Good. Goodbye. And the Hulk, Toby Hagen. Good night, everybody. We'll see you next time on Figure 4 Radio. Thank you for joining us. Good night. Woo! Figure 4 Radio. Radio. Radio.